Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. Thanks for taking your time to be here. Um, so I just have a project share um, and I will be making a tutorial this weekend so hopefully um, you'll like it. All my notes are right here so I'm ready to uh, make a second one. So I made a purse photo album and um, here's the paper I used. I have uh, these to cut out still and I guess I'm going to have to back them so you don't see this. And then I have the stickers. I'm only using one or two to put on the purses for my nieces, uh, other nieces. <laughs> And I'm going to let them decorate the rest. So um, this came with 12 sheets of paper all together. And it is through Echo Park. And that's including the sticker sheet. So um, I have these three to share with the, the one I'm going to make on the tutorial. And I used half of all the paper. There's 10, 10 sheets here. So I used the other half of these because I cut them in half because this is 12 by 12. So now this is 12 by 6. And this is the leftover from the album. So um, you can make cards with this when you send out the gift. And so when you get a small pack when it's only 12 sheets and they're double sided, you know, they're double sided and you have to pick which side to use. I'm trying to give you all ideas. I um, I like using six by six and then cutting my paper down to five and three fourths because I cannot cut a straight line on a 12 by 12 to save my life. I need a better cutting thing. But anyway, so here it is. Here's the little uh, purse. Here's the back. And it's got a magnet, and uh, so I did put two little stickers here, and I have it where there's a magnet here, and you could hear it close, and um, it opens like this. So let me see. Let me move this out of the way. Hopefully it won't. I'm trying to keep that shine off of you. So um, this is six by, I don't even know how long it is. I didn't measure how long because it's 12 plus five more is what? 17? Six by 17. Um, anyway, so I wanted it to look like a purse. So I wanted it to have a pocket here and there's a pocket here and then um, this is to put photos and then this is to put photos and then you can put a photo here. Um, you flip it and it's still all facing towards you so that all the pattern is facing the one way. This, um, idea I got from someone on Pinterest named Lori, I think I'll have to try to find her link. Um, but then I changed it. I changed the I changed everything except for the size six by six. I put pockets and pages and added different pages and anything anyway. But anyway, um, so then there's this paper. It's just so cute. I tried to have it uh, coordinating. I stuck a pocket inside here. So there's a pocket there. Um, and let me stick that back in there because I almost forgot there was even a pocket there. Then you flip it down and I think I love this with the unicorns and the pinkness. And then you flip it up for more photos to go. And then this one. And then, you know, you're digging in your purse and there's more pockets here and here. So I just think it's the cutest little thing. And, you know, there's the, you could have, I could have used a paper, uh, a strap, but I really like that I used a uh, ribbon. So, um, and it closes up and that's the side and then that's the back and the bottom. Everything's covered. I just think it's the cutest little purse. I really 
I really like it. So, um, and I have the tutorial and this, <coughs> the pages. So I think we have only three main pages and then extra flaps. So um, I was cutting it close with the paper on that. So I hope you like it. I am making another one for uh, my other niece. And I'm thinking to make a tutorial uh, this weekend in the next couple of days. If if you do want to see it, then I'll make a tutorial. But if, if y'all don't want to follow it, then I'll just make it and whip through it pretty fast. So, um, yeah, I think it's cute. Thank you so much for being here and um, hanging out with me. Um, have a blessed night.